Hi guys, welcome to Root Stem, and in this video we're going to be doing one of the Raging Heroes miniatures. I believe this is one of the Saint figures. I'm going to be doing this one up as a Canon S or a Sub Canon S for my Sisters of Battle army. So we're going to be painting her up in the same sort of scheme as the Order of the Bloody Rose. So before we begin proper, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you do want to see more. Um, simply because helping the channel out, especially in these times with the virus going around, it does a lot for everybody. So as you can see on the actual figure itself, I have sprayed it black. I've just used a Chaos Black Spray from Workshop. And we're going to be using the following paints. So for the Xenophil highlight that I'm going to be doing on the armour with an airbrush, we're going to be using Green Stuff World Metallic Colour Mystic White. It's absolutely one of my favourite colours. Not, I haven't really come across many other companies that do a metallic white. Um, it does take quite a few layers to put on, but it's cracking to be honest with you when you've got it on there. That's then going to be followed up with the Green Stuff World Candy Ink Ruby Red. And that goes over the top again with the airbrush and that creates our unique looking um, armor especially of course if you've seen the previous video where i used a contrast paint using the same thing on the ambot kind of like a similar effect that we're going for we've also got some grace here and a proper carry white and i'll be honest i should have sorry for my arm some white scar i've got some normal white scar that's my air version I might be using that one instead though because that's actually thinned already so i could just put that straight on um that's going to be for the cloak and the hood um mainly because it's a really really nice looking white when you've done it you put that on you put that on and then of course you give it some highlights from there that'll make it quick easy and simple and then really just finishing it off because uh, of course it's not not too much detail on the figure we're probably going to be painting the fle flesh as well I'll come up to the paints on that in a second. We're going to be using some lead belt shirt to base the weapons. Storm Horse Silver is going to be put on the weapons for the highlights. Uh, and then we're going to be using some Gullum and Glaze. That's going to be on the sword. That'll make it look very kind of power swordy. And then the black, that is going to go across the gun. Now that will make the uh, weapon look like a gun metal. And for the flesh, we're going to be using some dark oil flesh, but I'm going to sort of thin it down with some contrast medium because I'm wanting it to be a, a paler looking figure. Um, I don't have the Gulliman flesh because I don't really like how that one works. It's sometimes too pale, so I like to have a darker version, which I can lighten if need be. Right, and let's get cracking. So to begin with, we're going to be doing a Xenophil highlight on this one on the armour. I'm using the metallic... Uh, Mystic White from the Green Stuff World. This is thinned with about 50 50 throw improver. Uh, we're going to be putting just the highlights on there and it's just going to be as close as I possibly can on the metal. I might need to take that off because it's actually easier uh, with the end of this one. Uh, don't forget to have a two brush handy because sometimes it can blog. I'm on about 20 psi when I'm doing this. Next stage, we've got Green Stuff's World Ruby Red. That's poured straight in. And it's going to be done from a distance. And I've got it still on 20 PSI. I'm going to try and be as careful as I can. I'm not trying to... I'm going to have to come back in to repaint the cloak. But that's going to be white anyway. Okay, so skipping forward for some, from some basics, as it were, uh, we've basically painted uh, Gracia into the cloak. I may need to just tidy that up a little bit. And we've painted Gracia into the face. We've also painted Mithril Silver. Not Mithril Silver. God, that's an old colour, if any of you guys remember that. Blooming neck. Lead Belcher, which used to be bolt gun metal. Um, on the sword and, of course, on the gun. Now what we're going to be doing is using some contrast paints to fill this out. 
and uh, I've also painted the chain as well silver so we're going to be using the contrast white simply because it's a really good color to actually paint your white now you do need to shake this up because you can see separated quite badly so you've got a mini paint shaker which some people seen online but do actually have it's probably the best time to use this particular product so I shook it up as best as I can got a small base brush and I'm gonna apply quite heavily onto the robes and that will fill into the recesses that I needed to fill into Ooh, well, well I've not done the uh, lever just yet if you go over something I've just gone over that uh, silver on the chain so I'll just come once this is dry, I'll just come back into it. And just about for all the ropes. Too much. Let that dry, and then we'll come in with the contrast black. So while it's dry, we are going to thin some um, white scar down very thin i've got a trusty small basing brush and we're just gonna try and highlight the white just making sure we're just leaving the recesses and that's why we're using a super thin one because we're wanting quite a lot of the underneath to show through we're not wanting it's kind of more water than it is white once it's dried it will show everything through that we're wanting just make sure you get your brush marks and tire marks sorted that's not something you're wanting on your figure so I've done the whites and now we're going to be putting on some black Templar I'm going to be applying this uh, to the weapons now on the gun I'm not going to be doing the uh, blade so I'm just going to be doing it up to there and this will give us a black metallic feel. And on the sword, I'm doing a handle. So we don't do the blade because we're going to be doing the blade with gum and glaze later. There we go. And next, we're going to mix dark off flesh with a little bit of contrast medium. Just to thin it down just a little bit, I'm probably going to go for like a half, so a bit of that. And then make sure you clean your brush when you're using this. And let any dark off to be contaminating your medium. That one medium, maybe a little bit more dark off. Now, be consistent. I'm wanting this just to go into the face. And the reason I thinned it is because I want it to be quite, I want it to be quite pale. Don't forget to get the neck on this particular figure. Right, now I just need to let... Again, we just need to let that dry. So, should be getting nearer, nearer the end. I've got my nice uh, face on there. And there's it's quite a set of pursed lips on this particular model so I'm going to get a really thin brush I'm going to do some uh, some a bit of purple lipstick
And let's go overboard, otherwise you end up looking like the Joker. There we are. It's a very basic figure, it's not really going to be anything amazing. Right, while well, I've got you guys on, I never have my paints handy. Apologies. Let's get some Gulliman Glaze if you've still got some, I believe. Or Gulliman Blue, it's a bla glaze paint. I believe Workshop may have stopped making it. Of all, I could be wrong. And I can't really check at the moment because uh, the internet's going whappy at my house simply because I think everyone's playing on their Xbox. Oh well, that's what happens when you've got uh, lots of uh, peeps are inside due to virus. Right, so glaze. We're just going to get the glaze and we're going to create kind of like a power sword. So what I'm going to do is go from the bottom up. The reason I'm going from the bottom up is you leave a heavier deposit of the actual uh, glaze at the top. And that way it kind of looks like it's bluer there and then it'll get less. If we just take some off we can always just touch the tip and that will actually get rid of some of that paint. And that's very easy to do. Now we just need to get this scabbard painted. To show my age here, I'm going to use, because these are some spare pots I've got, but I'm going to use Scorch Brown and Bestial Brown. Now, the modern equivalent is Rhinox Hide and Scrag Brown and whatever other paints you might be using, you might have a better equivalent to that as well. Um, so the Scorch Brown is going to go across the scabbard and then we're going to sort of like, uh, just do a bit of wet palleting up to Bestial. So, this is an older paint and it will require a bit of water. This is an older brush because I'm just trying to get it done. I don't want to ruin any of the newer brushes because I can't get replacements at the minute from my local stores. So, paint that up. Both sides. And you guys can see me. I'll probably zoom in. Make sure you don't get on that white. And then, let's get a bit of this beast your brown. Now the lid is broken from me. Like I said, the modern equivalent is scrag brown. You will need to, fit. if you've got some older paints, it's always best to thin them. I'm just gonna, if you can see that there, just mixing that up nicely. Put a bit more water in, because I want a bit of transparency. That's all, by the way, that palette's been there a few days. And then just. That's what I want. Now this still might be a bit thick. And then not really cleaning the brush, but just getting some of the really light stuff, making sure it's really thin, really thinning it down. Just so I can put a bit of that more in the middle. And that should then interact with the paint that you've already got on because the paint shouldn't be dry yet. And once it is completely dry, I'm going to put some uh, seraphine sepia over the top of that. And there we go. A very quick, very simple, canon esque looking figure, even though it's uh, a figure from Raging Heroes. Um, it's, it, it's actually going to be quite a nice substitute or stand in figure. Uh, I don't always go for workshop, workshop, workshop. And I really like how the armour has come out quite quick. And it's a very quick and simple paint job to do. Which you can replicate on some of the larger ones. I might even try replicating this on some of the larger sisters. Once workshop is back open and we can get hold of a box. Well thanks very much for watching guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button if you do want to see more. Um, I'm trying to get as many painting videos out as I possibly can. It just depends on what I've got coming in. Because a lot of the time I get commissions. And I tend to be able to record the commissions and get those you know, put out to people. And of course no contacts allowed at the moment so uh, it is actually proving quite difficult but hang in there guys we'll be out of isolation soon and uh, hopefully everything fingers crossed we'll get back to normal but thanks very much we'll see you next time